KSBW High School Playbook Blitz. Thank you very much. Welcome to Week One High School Playbook Blitz. Now until Thanksgiving, we'll be here every Friday night with the high school football highlights. First few weeks of the season, of course, non-league games, and we begin with one of those tonight. Aptos, the Mariners from Aptos, taking on the Salinas High Cowboys at the place they call the Pit. Cheerleaders from Salinas High throwing out those blitz footballs we provide. Where we give them a lot of them there. Hey, we have a lot of them. Great crowd on hand and. One problem with this game, I'm sorry, in the first half, way too many penalties, lots of penalties. But we see Salinas High in the purple get on the board here. It's Bruce Layton. Had a good night on the ground. He takes it in for the Cowboy touchdown. Aptos is expected to have a high-powered offensive attack. We saw some of that. Miles Bedoin, gainer there for the Aptos Mariners. That will lead to a touchdown. Aptos has a good quarterback. Michael Chavez a real good. He flipped right there to Brandon Pierce for the score. Aptos also scored on their next possession, and they're going to come away with a win in this one. Aptos knocking off Salinas High. Final score is 21-14. It's Aptos knocking off the Salinas High Cowboys. Salinas High, probably the toughest non-league schedule of any team. Next week, they play at Carmel. All right, North Salinas High. Taking on the Alice South Trojans tonight at Rabble Bank Stadium, North Salinas, the new uniforms, the red tops this year. Viking quarterback Joseph Gutierrez handing the ball off to Jericho Ferrellis. Ferrellis, excuse me, 16-yard game right here. Nice. Gutierrez in connects with number 35. There is no number 35 on the roster we have. There is no number 35. I'll tell you what, though, we have no Alice South roster. Victor Nunez scores for North Salinas High here. Please send us your roster. Victor Nunez, Vikings win the open at 35 to 6 the final. Now let's check out those Alvarez Eagles. Alvarez, yes, yeah, starting their season night at home against the Soledad Aztecs. Alvarez also sporting new dudes this year. New duds. New duds. Nice game here, Soledad Aztec. Augustin Mesa rumbling for a nice game there for the Aztecs of Soledad. Alvarez would grind out a win in this game tonight. Short game for the Eagles here. And then some nice defense by the Alvarez Eagles. Watch the pop on the sideline by Isaac Gonzalez. Isaac Gonzalez with some solid defense right there. And it's uh, Alvarez, a winner in this game. Alvarez was good last year. They look like they might be good this year. 25 to 11 the final here. Our next stop tonight, King City. King City Mustangs. Gives Monta Vista Christian Mustangs. Let's gallop through these highlights. Both Mustangs. <laughs> King City, distinctive blue and silver. Good play here, though, by the Monta Vista Christian defense. Then Monta Vista Christian kids from Watsonville on offense. And uh, Ryan Soap Spohn, uh, Spohn hooking up with Luke Dillon. Pretty good game there. Later in the game. Contest there down at King City. A nice game on the return here. It's... Uh, Koala Josephs for the Mustang. Then we're going to have a really nice play as Parker Noonan catches the short pass and turns that into a touchdown for Monta Vista Christian. Nice play by the big tight end. And the Mustangs from Monta Vista Christian beat the Mustangs from King City 22 to 14. Our next stop tonight, Monterey High School. Monterey High tonight, home against Half Moon Bay non league game. All Monterey. Monterey does have one of the area's finest quarterbacks in Carter Aldretti. Been calling this name for a few years. Carter Aldretti making the play right here. Nice spot to the receiver. Big game. Torrey Doors put it in the end zone. 17 yard touchdown courtesy of Sky Keller. In for the score. Monterey scored early. They scored off. And not many highlights for the visitors from Half Moon Bay. But they do connect here on a long pass and catch. Bottom line, though. Monterey High. Coach Newton's team. They went big. 48 to 23. Monterey. Wow. Next Friday night, Monterey High on the road at Soquel High School. Watsonville opens its season tonight against the Breakers from Pacific Grove. PG in the white. Watsonville will be familiar black. Looks like Pacific Grove has another solid team this year. Anthony Capella, John Betray. And a 35-yard touchdown here for the Breakers of Pacific Grove. Later, they're going to score again. This time, the defense is going to get the play. It's a turnover. 
It's a fumble, and it is picked up by James Donald. In for the break, the touchdown right there. All PG all night. Civic Grove built up a 27 and nothing lead. Jason Leach snaps off a 22-yard gainer here. Good opening night victory, Pacific Grove. They cruise 39-14, the final. Now let's head up to Gilroy and check out the Christopher High Cougars. Christopher with its first game on this sparkling new field there. Great new facility there at Christopher High in Gilroy. They took on Sobrata from Morgan Hill. That was the opponent. The Teal and Black, that's your Christopher Cougars. And they showed some defense in this one. Watch Jacob Zimmerman bat down that pass. Nice defensive play by Zimmerman of Coo, uh, the Christopher Cougars. More defense. Host of Christopher tacklers. They almost come up with a safety here. Sobrata offense pretty much held in check in this game. And later, a Christopher TV pass. Watch one of the nicer catches of the evening. Quarterback Matt Adam watched to Alec Ocheco. Real nice grab. The defender's going, how did he get that? He did. Touchdown, Christopher. And Christopher wins it. Tight battle, 12-6. The Cougars are winners. Now let's uh, head up over to Santa Cruz. Check out those Santa Cruz Cardinals. That playing at Cabrillo because their field's not quite ready. Santa Cruz against the Pajaro Valley. Grizzlies and the Grizzlies of Pajaro Valley. Watch this, biggest play of the night. That's a live ball. It's a backward pass. We know Mason picks it up. He goes 90 for the Pajaro Valley touchdown. And Reno Mason on his way to the big touchdown. Way to go, Reno. Santa Cruz Cardinals will come back and they stick it in the end zone. And uh, bottom line is Santa Cruz, they're going to come away with a win over Pajaro Valley. The victory for the Santa Cruz Cardinals in this non-league opener, 35 to 19, Santa Cruz. And in case you missed it last night, it was uh, Carmel High and Aaron Clark, the Carmel High fan, she has a player on the team. Okay, she gets the throw fan balls out to the Carmel fans and the cheerleaders involved. It was Carmel against Palma. Carmel got the early touchdown here. Connor Martin hooking up with Eddie and Sorinel. Palmer's first score was a field goal by Mikel Mendez. He gets that right here. Mikel Mendez, Carmel's fine quarterback, Connor Martin, meanwhile. Probably wishes he didn't throw this pass. Intercepted by Zach Berry. More big plays for Palmer in this game. And Palmer's going to come away with the win. Palmer with the win. 30 to 7. 30 to 7. Palmer, a winner last night over Carmel High School in. Uh, the Rebel Bank Stadium in Flint. Scoreboard, please. Scoreboard. It was Seaside High traveling up to Oakland. They lose the skyline 30 to 7. Live Oak over the Gilroy Mustangs 31-21. Two other games. Hollister over Hillmar. 42 zip for the Hay Baylors. Soquel over Los Altos 33-13. That's it for the football. More information on our website. We'll be back with more right after this.